Okay, we are ready to start our second lesson on main idea and details. These are the handouts we're gonna be using in this activity. If you don't have these, you can click the link in the description box below and go grab yourself a copy, or you can just stay tuned and see what you learn. The first thing you're gonna to need to do is get these handouts cut out. So at any time during the video, if I'm ahead of you, you can pause the video or back it up so that you can catch up. Now we're gonna fold on these black lines. I always fold backwards so I can see the black line and then I fold forward. And then we're ready to put it in our interactive notebook. You wanna line it up with maybe the pink line on the left side and then flip it and glue just that flap and smooth it down. Then you're gonna open it and slide the details flap underneath, fold the little details flap forward, and you're gonna put some glue on that and fold it back down. Then you're gonna open them both up and just make sure that your insert fits and then put glue in the space, and then you're gonna set it in there and then just make sure that the flaps fold back together. Glue the title down up at the top of the page and we're ready to get started. Okay, we are ready to talk about main idea. Now, if you saw my other lesson on main idea, it was about the stated main idea. So it was a main idea that was going to be stated in the paragraph, this is implied. That just means that they're telling you enough information so that you can figure out the main idea for yourself, but there isn't an exact sentence that states the main idea. And we know that it is going to be the overall thought or point being made about the topic. So it's whatever the author is trying to teach us about the topic, that is our main idea. Now, the way that we're gonna find a main idea when it's not stated in the passage is that we want to look for the idea that all the details are explaining. That is super important. We wanna realize what the details are pointing us towards so that we can figure out the main idea for ourselves. And then we're gonna have to think of a sentence that sums up that overall thought. So when it's an implied main idea, they're giving us the details and we're having to understand the actual main idea. So we're having to think of that sentence on our own. Now it sounds a little challenging, but that's okay. I'm gonna give you some great steps and we're gonna figure out exactly how to do that. We're gonna talk about details and then we're gonna figure out the topic and read the passage and come up with all of these answers together. Okay, so we're gonna be looking at details. Now details are giving us more information about the main idea. Now what we need to notice, we've got to look and observe what the overall thought is that's being explained and we're gonna find this in the facts, examples, and descriptions that the author's giving us in those details. Now we're gonna be highlighting some details in this passage in orange, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put an orange border around this. We'll remember that orange is for details. Now we're not gonna have anything to highlight in blue because the main idea isn't gonna be stated in the passage, but we're gonna come up with a great main idea sentence. All right, now we're gonna look at this passage. Now our passage is here, so we're gonna go ahead and read this passage and then we'll see if we can figure out what the details are pointing towards. You may have noticed falcons flying high above other birds, but if you blink, you might miss seeing them catch their prey. This is because they can reach speeds over 200 miles per hour. Falcons usually hunt other birds from the air, so they need excellent eyesight. Falcons also have a special eyelid that protects their eyes when they dive to catch prey. Strong chest muscles allow them greater flapping force, while powerful hearts help them beat their wings much faster than other birds. Also, falcon feathers are stiff and thin, and their pointed wings help them slice through the air quickly. None of this would matter if falcons didn't have specially designed lungs, making it possible for them to breathe at such high speeds. It's easy to see why falcons are such amazing hunters. Okay, now that we've read this passage, we know something. We know that the topic is falcons. So we're just gonna write it here. Remember, the topic is just gonna be one or two words that are telling us what the subject is that we're speaking about. We know it's about falcons, but we've gotta figure out what that main idea is that it's telling us about falcons. 
So now let's look at what some of the details are telling us. So the first two sentences here are just saying you might have seen or noticed a falcon flying high above other birds, but if you blink, you might miss seeing them catch their prey. So now they're going to go into telling why that might happen. Why wouldn't we see them catch their prey? This is because they can reach speeds of over 200 miles per hour. So these are very fast birds. So we're going to highlight this. It says falcons usually hunt other birds from the air, so they need excellent eyesight. Okay, so they've got to have this excellent eyesight. Why do they need it? Well, because they're hunting these other birds from the air. Falcons also have a special eyelid that protects their eyes when they dive to catch prey. And let's see, what else do they need? They need strong chest muscles and that allows them greater flapping force. So these chest muscles are important because they wouldn't be able to flap the way they need to to fly that fast. And then what else? Powerful hearts help them beat their wings much faster than other birds. So if they didn't have these powerful hearts, they wouldn't be able to pump that blood around as fast and beat their wings as fast. So even though this right here is one sentence, strong chest muscles allow them greater flapping force while powerful hearts help them beat their wings much faster than other birds. It's really two details. It's saying that they've got strong chest muscles and they have powerful hearts. So just because it's in one sentence doesn't mean if you're writing down a detail that you have to write down the whole entire sentence. You can just write down the one thought. Okay, what else? Falcon feathers are stiff and thin and their pointed wings help them slice through the air quickly. So that's another thing that seems to be saying that it's really what's helping them go fast. The way their wings are designed are helping them cut through that air quickly so that they can build up this speed. None of this would matter if falcons didn't have specially designed lungs, making it possible for them to breathe at such high speeds. So they wouldn't be able to breathe and they would probably pass out if they didn't have these specially designed lungs. It's easy to see why falcons are such amazing hunters. Now here's a trick. When you don't see a main idea sentence at the very beginning, sometimes the last sentence in the paragraph can give you a clue about the main idea. Now we've seen hunt in here several times and we know that they're trying to go really fast. Why are they trying to go so fast? Because they're trying to catch these other birds. So the fact that they can go 200 miles an hour, they're hunting birds from the air, so they've got to have excellent eyesight. They have special eyelids that protect them when they're diving to catch prey, because remember, they're going 200 miles an hour. They have to have strong chest muscles, powerful hearts, and they have to have these stiff and thin and pointed um, feathers and wings so that they can slice through the air quickly. And they have to have these special lungs. Now this last sentence, it's easy to see why falcons are such amazing hunters, kind of gives us a clue that the whole point of this paragraph is telling us about how falcons hunt. Now, they hunt in a much different way than owls do. In our last paragraph for main idea that was stated, we talked about owls and they had to be silent so that they could sneak up on their prey, but falcons aren't sneaking up. They're going so fast, the bird in the air doesn't even know what hit it before it gets caught. So now we've just got to put this into a sentence that helps us show that we know what the main idea is and that we can actually state it. So all of this is working together to help us understand that falcons are specially equipped to hunt at high speeds. Now an owl wouldn't be able to hunt in this way. And a lot of other birds of prey can't hunt in this way because they don't have these features that falcons have. So we're gonna write our main idea sentence over here. And remember any point in the video, if I'm going faster than you, just pause the video or back it up so that you can catch up. So we're gonna write our main idea sentence here. Okay, so now we've got our main idea sentence. Falcons are specially equipped to hunt at high speeds. So now we know that is the overall thought of this passage. Everything, all these details are telling us what they have that helps them be able to hunt at such high speeds. So now we're gonna write down some of these details that we learned. One detail that we saw in the passage was that they have excellent eyesight and special eyelids. So we're gonna write that down here. Those two are really important because without those things, they really wouldn't be able to hunt birds from high in the air and they wouldn't be able to protect their eyes when they're going 200 miles per hour. So to get that to all fit on this line, I'm gonna stack some of the words. Another sentence was strong chest muscles allow them greater flapping force 
while powerful hearts help them beat their wings much faster than other birds. Now that's way too much to write for one detail and it's also really two thoughts. So just because it's in one sentence doesn't mean we have to write the whole sentence down for a detail. We can just write strong chest muscles as one detail. Next, we'll write that they have powerful hearts and that helps them beat their wings faster, but we're not gonna fit all of that on that line. So we'll just write the idea of it, powerful hearts. Now let's add another one. I remember it saying that the falcon feathers are stiff and thin and then the pointed wings help them slice through the air quickly. So we've got to put that information on here. So we're going to stack some of our writing so we can get it to fit. So they have stiff, thin feathers and pointed wings. Now there were some other details in the passage that we can go back and look at. It also mentioned that they have specially designed lungs, which makes it possible for them to breathe at such high speeds, but we're not going to put that one on there. It only asked for four, but that was another good one. Now we did highlight that they can reach speeds of over 200 miles per hour and that they hunt other birds from the air, but those two are really just setting up the main idea, which is that they're specially equipped to hunt at high speeds because they hunt other birds from the air and they have to catch them very quickly before the bird knows they're coming. So it's not telling us how they do it yet. It's just setting up that that's what they're doing. So those are important details that helped us figure out the main idea, but they're not giving us more information about the main idea yet until we come down here to all of these specific things that falcons have. And all of these details support the idea that falcons have these special things that they can do that make it possible for them to hunt at high speeds. All right, the last thing that we're gonna do, just like we did for the owl paragraph, is we're gonna come up with a title. What is so special about these falcons that we could use to put for a title? We obviously can't write this whole main idea sentence, but they're able to go so fast, which is what makes them able to catch prey in midair the way they do. So we could put something like built for speed because everything about their bodies, the way their wings are, the way their heart is, the way their lungs work, and everything makes it possible for them to fly at such high speeds. So we're gonna call it built for speed. You did such an amazing job on this lesson. I hope that you learned a lot about finding the main idea, even when the main idea is not stated in the passage, and that all of this talk about main idea will really help you to think more about what you're reading so that you can understand it better. Make sure you click the links in the description box below and you can check out my other main idea and detail videos and my other activities. Thanks so much for joining me. I will see you next time.